I was quite surprised. And she was off a bit before I was ready, but anyway, gear up, climbing away. Looking good. G'day, I'm Phil from PhilTech, and today I want to tell you more about the Leslie V12 model engine, and more specifically the cylinder liners which are extremely important to a two-stroke engine. We'll compare the original liners I used on the prototype, which were from a Fox engine manufactured in the USA, and the liners we now manufacture at Filtech. The design will need to be upgraded to suit the arrangement and running conditions of the Leslie V12. But the result should be improved performance for driving scale propellers and giving a lower idling speed. So here is a typical liner from a two-stroke model engine. It's a Schnell ported design. We can take note of the exhausts here and the bar down the middle, that's to stop the piston ring from breaking through. We've got the inlet port there. We've got another inlet port there. And we've got the booster port there, which is time to open slightly later than the inlet ports. On the Leslie V12 prototype, we used a Fox 40 cylinder liner. Our engine is a long stroke engine, where most model engines are short stroke, high revving engines. So you can see the difference in length here. So the Fox 40 was quite suitable for our motor. You can take note of its exhaust there, its inlets there and there's its boost ports. You will note that it's got an unusual design on its on its inlet ports. Uh, I'm not sure why it could just be for a manufacturing purposes. This is the liner that we manufactured at Filtech for the Leslie V12. We've made various changes. Firstly we've gone with a more conventional uh, style of inlet port and you will notice that the exhaust ports are a flatter design compared to the Fox ones there. That's because we open our valve timing later and that's because we're only revving at around 7,000 revs and the Fox 40 would have been designed to rev at 12,000 revs. And so we can attain higher torque and power at our 7,000, even if we sacrifice high-end RPM because we're never revving at 12,000 RPM. For those of you out there who are not so familiar with two-stroke Schnell porting design, I'll attempt to briefly explain it. The ports are cut at complex angles. Let's first view the cylinder line of ports from above here. We can see the inlet ports are designed so that the air fuel mix is directed towards the back of the chamber away from the exhaust port. If we view from side on here, we can see the inlet ports are directed upwards at 15 degrees so that the air fuel mix easily flows up to the top of the combustion chamber. You're probably asking yourself, what does the boost port do? It is time to open just after the inlet port so that it helps push the air fuel mix to the top of the combustion chamber while allowing more mixture in, as seen on the diagram but we are using two cylinder liners facing opposite directions as seen on the next diagram. Also consider that the crankshaft tends to fling the air fuel mixture in the direction of its rotation. We question what happens when it has to turn the corner to get into the left hand cylinder. Does it tend to prefer to just go into the right cylinder and cause the tuning issue between the cylinders that we have experienced? Let's try removing the boost port and see what happens. We'll now show you how we've gone about actually manufacturing the liner. The first operation is to turn the cylinder liner from bar stock on a CNC lathe.
The material is 4140 grade high tensile steel. It's suitable as it can be nitrided to harden the surface with minimal distortion. The liner is manufactured about 0.2 millimetre larger than the final size to allow for final grinding. The second stage is to mill the exhaust ports on a four axis machining centre. You can see the machine drilling a 2mm hole initially. This is to allow entry of the tiny 2mm end mill. The end mill is then used to cut the ports. The work holding system used in this clip is a flexi chuck that is manufactured by Filtech and Eccentric Engineering. The link for information and purchase is in the description. The third process is to cut the inlet ports. Similar to cutting the exhaust ports, we start with drilling a 2mm hole. However, this time we rotate the cylinder between each port to create the correct direction. Note also that the fourth axis rotary table is tilted up at 15 degrees. This is to create the angle as described earlier in the video. The fourth operation is nitriding to harden the surface. The fifth operation is cylindrical grinding. This process is to provide a smooth surface finish and a precise diameter. The sixth and final operation is internal grinding. This is to produce an extremely smooth bore suitable for the piston rings to seal on. A person must know their limitations, so we contracted this process out to someone with the suitable skills and machinery. Due to Leslie V12's modular design, we're able to easily run a two cylinder version of the engine for testing purposes. First we've got to run the engine with the original line of design to get a baseline for comparison. After further engine tests, but now using the Filtech cylinder liners, we came up with the following results. Now let us have a look at the results of the engine tests. We tested the engine with two sizes of propellers to make a comparison between different maximum engine speeds. The blue columns are for the Fox manufactured cylinder liners and the orange are for the Filtech manufactured cylinder liners. We can see we achieved a marginal increase with the larger propeller, but about the same RPM for the smaller prop. This is what we expected, but I was hoping for a greater increase with the larger prop, but I may need to do some more work on that. The idle speed was significantly lower, which is good news. Perhaps a look at the carby next will improve that even further. As an engineer, it's so exciting and rewarding to design something, then make it, and finally see it work. So that is enough about cylinder liners from Filtech. See you later, and keep having fun with your model aircraft, and especially your model engines.